Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by A.O. Conseco. Wild ride when we going live, but then it's time for the gorillas. Who else you know, gorilla? I'm from the cell mode four, nigga. Who else you know, gorilla? I'm from the cell mode four, nigga. Bet, no cap on my niggas real. Your baby mama want a cop a feel. All of my niggas be popping steel. Run up a band without a deal. Move a silence, my lips are sealed. Hold my niggas in prison, I'll get a pill. On the chase for the dollar bill. Yeah, I'm really about this shit for real. I'm on your ass today. I'ma run up a bag today. I'ma flip me a pack today. I'ma make me a stack today. I'm on your ass today. I'ma run up a bag today. Welcome back to the Rap Trap. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation and the Men 2 Movement. And this is, in hindsight, um, y'all know what it is, man. We back, you know. Um, it is what the fuck it is. Niggas think that I'm just, I guess, I'm just up this bitch talking. I'm just up this bitch talking and cooling and and just holding it down, you know what I mean? The motherfuckers ain't hearing me when I'm telling you this label, these labels, this shit is not set up for you to become no legend, for you to become no motherfucking multi-millionaire type nigga. No. No. You come in, entertain the tag, do whatever little stupid dance that you gonna contribute to the culture and get back where the fuck you was at when we met you. All these niggas talking about something that ain't take them in six months and I'm just on. It's that fast because it's gonna be that fast. It's gonna be just that fast. And no, nobody can believe how fast that they're coming up. How, you know, and, and they getting put around, you know, these big white white surfer girl pop stars and they just can't believe it like they're giving out uh new artist awards and and um best new song awards like they just you know fucking participation uh fucking uh medallions like it's not shit blue face with all that steam and all that chug along and and all that good shit that he has around him kind of make you think, kind of make you think with this situation right here with this 12,000 that he just did uh, nationwide, I guess worldwide, um, neither did 12,000 copies worldwide. And it make you think, damn, was that shit with your mama and your sister? Was that just a, 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 a promotion, uh, promotion, uh, theatric? Because now he, uh, in the kitchen with his mama, uh, asking her, hey, can I uh, bust an egg on your head for a thousand dollars? Like, just weird white boy shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I know these motherfuckers. Like, look at how Meg the Stallion is dropping mixtape after mixtape just so she don't have to say that she's dropping the album, even though. The songs on the fucking uh, mixtape are original beats. You know what I'm saying? They're doing everything that you would do to an album, but they're just not calling it an album. Yeah, we just do out a mixtape. You know, we just do that out. Nobody wants to drop because they're going to end up like Blueface. Everyone knows this. Everyone knows this. And while Meg over there playing, just hoping that, you know what I'm saying, she can, like, what, what the fuck are you going to do? What? It's gonna happen. It is what it is. I need to talk about how uh, Jay Z ain't bought her out of her deal yet. Like, if he fuck with you like that, he started all this shit. He uh, granted you solace at Rock Nation. Why the fuck he ain't bought you out your deal yet? That's another story. Um, so Blueface sells twelve thousand. Um. Whack 100 is his manager. And 
I think this is so important to see this. As the rap trap is, you know, destroying people's lives and rap, literally destroying people's lives, like rappers actually getting murdered, these people don't take any L's. They take zero L's. Everything that happens is a dub for them. They're winning. They love it when an artist goes to jail. They love it when an artist dies. Both of those things take the numbers through the roof. But Blueface, Blueface, hey man, um, you know, we're looking, man. It looks like your numbers are down there in the toilet, man. Hey, is there anything, anything we can do to spice this thing up? Oh no, nah, man. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get the people good music. Excuse me. Yeah, man. I'm just gonna get the people good music. Just give them that real, you know, classic, traditional blue face. Yeah, I don't think they just want blue face. I think they wanna, you know, they wanna see something. Uh, so you know, we got a couple of, you know, got a couple of options here that we can do. What you mean options? You know, I, you know, I just give your career a little, a little, a little jump. No big deal. Just a little jump. What do you mean a little jump? Well, you know, like maybe setting up a little fist fight in the park, and, and we'll have a guy, and, you know, we'll get the actor, and you know, he'll make you look like a judo master, and you just talk your shit, and, and, and you know, uh, rep your gang, and um, I'm sure that that at least get us up uh, uh, 15 points. You gonna you going to stage me beating somebody up? I mean, only if you want to. You know, I don't want you to feel uncomfortable about it. It's like, uncomfortable? Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that. Let's do it. You know, like, and a lot of artists will go way further than that. You know what I'm saying? Labels understand exactly what this industry has turned into. It's turned into a live every... 24-7 um, reality TV show. Loving Hip Hop Atlanta, really, has shown these people like, we can take reality TV on social media. Like, we can't take their phones away from them, so let's use the phones. Let's use them. So now the beat that we're doing behind the scene, you might see the uh, uh, two motherfuckers on Love and Hip Hop, you know, writing shit back and forth to each other, you know, just some foul shit, and they in the same fucking room. Like, it, it gets to a point where there is no, it's wrestling, it's wrestling, like, you know, but there is no, um, you can't see it, you can't see you know what's actually going on like when they're tired of shooting you know they, they lean on each other and shit like that and the man say action now they back to fighting like oh, hold your hand like this and just everything's fake everything is fake but those numbers are extremely real um after this is part of the rap trail after you've run your course now here you come and you're going to be trying to um, find a way to swivel back in and, and get some going. Mark my words. Blueface is headed for destruction. 12,000 copies? Yeah. He's, yeah. he's about to do some crazy shit. They don't understand. <laughs> like, what happens is they... The industry just, I'm talking about blindfolded, just, ah, I'm going to pick him. Who we got? Quando Rondo? Okay. Let's do it again. Ah. Kodak Black? Okay. Blueface? Playboy Cardi? Like, they just pick motherfuckers. Give them the rapper image and shit like that and do what they do. Which is play the music on the radio a million fucking times and just brainwash the shit out of everybody. Put the shit everywhere you go. You look on YouTube, this motherfucker look like a star. He's won the fucking Best Artist Award. It's the same fucking 
formula for every artist. They don't have to sell shit. We're going to make it look like they did. This is the label showing Blueface, you on your way out, my nigga. You need to do something crazy. And when he does this crazy shit, he won't be there to enjoy the fucking fruits of the label. He's going to you know, go to jail or get killed. Either way, the label is going to win. They're going to get paid. I'm telling you, dog, when you go in that room and you got to do your performance live and they when folks jump on tables, they have psychiatrists, mental health doctors in there letting the label know how far this motherfucker will go. How prone is he to manipulation? How susceptible to um, manipulation, um, and they and they hit them with that shit, dog. You just pick this motherfucker out of you know poverty, and in a couple months made him a fucking superstar, and now, or you, you made him rich to where he has money, um, running out of money, but now he has it, and. It's about to be over. Now it's about to be over. Um, 12000 my nigga, you out the door. You out the door. That's with the label. Rick Ross did uh, 10000 totally independent. Um, and it's like, my nigga, come on, man. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Like, they're, they're really... They're... they're this is this is what the microwave bring, man. This is what the microwave bring. Like fast, easy come, easy go. Easy come, easy go. But they don't. They really believe that. Yeah, man. Look at this dance. I got bust down, Tatiana. Want to see you bust down? It's a one hit wonder, my nigga. You don't have anything. You don't have anything of any consequence. You you were hot. It was oh well. Look at it there. It's all blue face. Next thing. Next thing, and that's why you know I say shit like a lot of you motherfuckers should envy a career like Starlitos before you envy you know blue face. OT Genesis. Um, Temptation. Yeah, I mean, obviously. Because he's been surviving. And that's just like the dope game. Um, it's not about, you know, how high you go. It's about how long you can stay out this motherfucker. Some motherfuckers ball hard, heavy, for two years straight, only to spend the rest of their life. It's, it's like, you want to be that person that I, I'm getting consistent money. I'm not, you know, not everybody, I'm not, you know, billboards and all that shit like that, but... I've seen motherfuckers come in and leave, and I've still been here surviving. Longevity. And a lot of you motherfuckers don't understand what that is. They don't really. They just looking at the right now and right now, right now, and that's why it's so easy to get them. So easy just to, to pick them up and just take everything, man, and just use them and just throw them away like the tampon. It's sad. It's sad because it's like y'all about to see what it looks like um, for like a, a, a has-been. That's, that's a sad. That, that's that's going to be sad. Um... Any habits are about to start popping out. Now you'll see the motherfucker on um, Love and Hip Hop and all this shit right here, man. And just... But that's that's what it is. This is the trap. Like, if you don't die, 
or go to prison, this is the trap. The trap is I can't, like, the people aren't buying my music. They're not buying my music. Well, hey, man, so I, I was telling you that we can probably, you know, start a little beef with, like, dog, I don't want to start no beef because then I'm going to have to go to jail or fucking get killed. Well, okay, well, it's all 12000 so you're saying that if I don't kill or get killed, it's, I, I, I'm a, I'm a fail? Uh, you know, it's just kind of what it is, man. Come on, my nigga. Like, are you looking at this game? Are you looking at it? Are you watching it? It's not about talent. They are picking motherfuckers with blindfolds on. Everything is rigged, you know. These motherfuckers got long-lasting relationships because pretty much they own everything. The airwaves, every which way you want to goddamn look at it, the radio, the TV, the uh, fucking internet, all of it, they, under, they run everything that you consume. Whether it be, no matter how, the radio, TV, tablet, PC, laptop, how you consume it, they're the ones, they own everything that pushes that shit out. So when it comes to this, you know, uh, it, it's, it's, it's all the same thing. It's all the same thing. They can put you out there in front of everybody or they can sit back and not do shit. And you have no control. You can go in there and fuss and, and fight and shit. Hey, your numbers are down. How my numbers down? They're going to show you the numbers. They make the numbers. The, the game is manipulated and, and if we can't see it by now, then I don't know if we are. Look at Blueface. He just sold 12000 Come on, man. Come on. How quick was that? How quick was that? This has been the Rap Trap. I'm A.O. Conseco. Make sure you go to the Patreon. Um, a lot of the stuff that needs to be broken down um, deeper will be on the Patreon. Uh, the golf course theory where I break down to you like how, you know, that, that the golf course theory is actually already on the Patreon, but I, I kind of want to do it in my own voice again. Um, also, the breakdown about the girl, the 9 to 5 girl, um, that's on the um, Patreon also. Um, the, nine, the girl said she don't like 9 to 5 dudes, that hour-long special I did. Um, the uh, little prelude to... What I had to tell you about the politics behind the scenes. That's up. So make sure you get to the Patreon. Make sure you show love, cash, app, PayPal. Um, I'm tired of the motherfucker. Work, work, work. We grinding. We going live tomorrow.